What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Daniel Dubois. Johnny Nelson, get this. Johnny Nelson states that Dubois has quit in his DNA, and Usyk knows it. He says, quote, he says, Dubois showed he has quit in his DNA. That might be a part of his naivety, but he showed he has that in him. He said, and once a fighter has shown that he has it in him, it gives the other fighter more energy, more drive, more ambition to put a fighter under pressure. He has to, he has got quit in him and Usyk knows it. He is a brilliant fighter, but he has that in him. And it is something you can't just shake off. I'm quite sure he hasn't wanted to switch off and quit mid fight, but it's in you and you go and you can do nothing about it. We will see when the pressure is on again, if maturity changes things, but I don't think so. Nothing can change it. Those are the words of Johnny Nelson and let me counter punch. Um, I did think of that as well. I wanted to add that in my prediction, but let's talk about that now. Um, Daniel Dubois quit because see, this is what people need to understand. The hindsight shit with Daniel Dubois, all oh, his eye, his eye, his eye, he was worried about his eye. Okay. For all we know in that time, his eye was swollen. He didn't know his orbital bone was broken. There wasn't a doctor there to confirm it was open or broken. None of that happened, okay? They just knew his eye was swollen because uh, uh, Joe Joyce kept peppering him in that same eye and it, and it swole, okay? But it was the 10th round and I think he was actually up on the scorecards when he was fighting Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce kept hitting that spot. Bah, bah, bah. He kept touching it and the more he touched it, the more it swole. And then by the 10th round, Joe Joy started to connect with right hands. When he connected with the right hands, okay, um, Dubois started to fade and he started to fade quick. And in the 10th round, he took a knee and he did not get up. That's what Johnny Nelson's talking about. That quit in his DNA is that decision when something is getting too tough, you fold. And that's what he's talking about. And Danny Dubois did it. And he's saying there's nothing you can do about it because it's a mental thing. It's one of those things that says, you know what, I'm going to quit. And if he's going to quit at that point, what guarantees us that Daniel Dubois won't quit in this fight with Alexander Usyk? Because Usyk, I believe, will be the guy to test him. And when he says Alexander Usyk knows it, I think he knows that, Ole that, Dion that Dubois will get pressured, I think he will be like a deer in headlights. I think what happens with Dubois when Alexander Usyk starts hitting him at will, we'll see what he has left. Now, I will say this in, in defense of Daniel, okay? His last fight was a bizarre, weird episode where he went down three times in the first round. It did not look good. However, he did get up and he did have an injury. Okay, his ACL supposedly, you know, was torn or whatever. And, um, you know, and he survived and he took that guy, that same guy out. I think it was too weird, really, because I, I, I don't understand why Kevin Ledena, the South African fighter he was fighting. I don't know why he let up off of Daniel Dubois, because if I knocked an MF -er down three times in the first round, the second round, his ass is going down again. I'm going to finish it off. I'm not going to sit there and kind of, if you've seen what he did, he kind of gave him this leeway. He gave him this space. He didn't put the pressure or keep the pressure on. And that made me kind of curious, but Danny Dubois did not quit. So there is hope for him. Okay. And I think he won't quit, especially when people like Johnny Nelson thinks he will quit. So he knows the pressure's on. Even if he goes down, even if his eye swells, I don't think that he will do that. I don't think so. I hope he doesn't. Because if he does that again, he will be la labeled as a quitter. Okay? He will be labeled by as a quitter by trial and error. They'll see, like, dude, you quit against Joe Joyce, and then you quit again, uh, against Usyk because you can't, and you couldn't handle the pressure that Usyk was putting upon you. But one thing about Danny Dubois, he can punch. So maybe in doubt, instead of quitting, why don't you throw those bows? But anyway, you guys tell me what you think 
of Johnny Nelson stating that DNA of quittery is in Daniel Dubois. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.